It's the wrap up show. Hey. Who's ready for some drinking? I know I am. Hey! This here's Jim Bob. And this here's Clint. And we are the Whiskey, Whiskey Drinkers. Drinkers. That's right. Now this here is the very first. That's numero uno. That's right. That's Spanish. It is. Um. Oh yeah. Monthly wrap up video. That's right. For the special, very special, very sexy. Patreon viewers only. That's right, and for the month of love, November. That's right, that's what they call it. Valentine's Day's in that month. Exactly. So, so uh, what yeah. we got here? Um, well, we, we should probably explain what we're doing. What oh, yeah. we're doing in the monthly wrap up video is that we're going to go back to all the videos we shot during the month yeah. and give you a little inside information on them. Yeah. Whether it's uh, shit that didn't get filmed, stuff that happened that wasn't supposed to happen. Um, and sometimes we might even film yeah. some stuff that we'll cut to uh, behind the scenes kind of stuff. So you yeah. know, we'll have all kinds of cool yeah, shit. So whatever we got filmed, we'll probably sh maybe show you. Uh, who knows? Yeah, we're just doing it off the cuff right now. Yeah, we don't know what the hell. We don't even have any patrons yet. If you're on here, you're the shit. Look, um, if you've seen our videos, you know we don't know what we're doing. Exactly. So uh, you know, well, this will get better and better. So uh, hopefully. Well, first off, I want to say real quick, uh, R.I.P. Luis. <laughs> Um, she, Jesus, little baby Jesus took her from us. Yeah, yeah. Put her, she went to a better place. So, so she's kind of a little baby Jesus, and big, big Jesus is you know watching over her. Right That's now. right. You know, double Jesus time. Big so big Jesus. I'm, I'm working really hard, uh, real damn hard. I've been spending nights, nights, and nights making this. Um, I made a tribute video for you, Luis. Mostly spending nights and nights crying. In this yeah, video. but I'm getting to it uh, slowly. Yeah, well, it's coming along. Yeah, so, uh, okay, so what I did was I wrote down, uh, rest, rest of the piece, yeah. uh, Okay, so uh, I wrote down, okay, so basically what I have in my notes right here is we missed three days. Three right? days. Now, so, you know, uh, you went on vacation. I went on vacation. Which we'll get into. And, uh, and I moved into an apartment for unknown reasons that maybe we'll tell you later because you right. guys are patrons. Or, yeah. Maybe. It has to do with me possibly stripping again, but let's just get back into this. All right. Other bad habits. All right, so uh, Jim Bob snores, okay, and he snores funny. It's not just your typical saw on a log. Yeah, it's okay. Don't no, no, no matter. Well, I'm gonna tell him anyway. But when I'm it's, stripping, it's, I'm not snoring. Well, I'm shaking anyway. that bomb bomb. You know what I mean? But his snores are weird. It's almost like it's creepy. It sounds like a little child laughing. It's weird. It's like. <sighs> Uh, no, no. It's weird. It's, I, it's, everybody it's knows weird. I snore like a pterodactyl does. So get the hell it's out of weird. here. It's weird. It's kind of creepy, and I just had enough of it. Wow. Anyway. Cool. All right. Well, that, I'm glad that was put out there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dude. I, just, I didn't first realize video. it was because of all first that. Video. But, all right. First video we have is um, Hunting Rifle Battle of the 308s. Interesting, Dad. That's the Browning 8 Bolt versus the Remington 7.7. 7. 7. Oh. Okay, now, first off, I could not for the life of me remember the name Brownie. We got the Battle of the 308s. That's right. Now, right here, I got myself a, uh, uh, I can never remember the name of the name. Starts with a B. Starts with a B. Uh, Browning. A Browning. This is a Browning 308. This is an A bolt. Yeah. And I always kept saying in the video, I'm like, uh, it's the, uh, and you're like, I think it starts with. I think it starts with a B. I don't even talk and about And I'm that. like, uh, the, the Browning, that's right. I, yeah. I don't know why I couldn't just associate it with Brownie. And I, because they were both black. Well, that's how they are with Jim Bob makes them. makes a damn Brownie. The damn thing turns out like a well, piece of black sheet rock. Well, yeah, because cause there's hashish in there. So anyways, getting back to what we're saying is uh, I remember going, Ch -ch -ch, and I kept fucking with you. Yeah, you thought yeah. that I was, uh, you know, being serious, but I was just kidding. I was pretending. But like, yeah. You know, Ch -ch -ch. And then upon reflection, I realized that he's doing that, and it's not, that's not even, like, he's like, I'm coming for you, Sarah Connor. Sarah Connor? It doesn't do that, Jim Bob, at all. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Sarah Connor. And it's like, Jim Bob, that wasn't even in the Terminator. It was a damn lever action. A fucking movie nerd over here. Uh, Tell me about all this shit. Just saying, I mean, it was kind of cool. It would be neat if they made a pump shotgun. That would be cool. Fucking There's one of them where he just pumps it right in the air, and, you know. Yeah. I've been working on my muscles to get there, but yeah. um, so uh, what the fuck was I gonna say? Yeah, we're talking about the Browning Three Hundred Eight. Oh the yeah, the and the Battle of. Oh yeah, we made a new theme song. Mm. Um, yeah. it, I think this is the first one that it came up. Might be. Now is this same when I was sliding up in that? Remember? Yeah, slider yeah. Slider up in there. If you guys yeah, remember that, making love to the Browning. Put that up there or something. But you can't blame him. I mean, Browning's not good. Um, 
I do remember uh, being out there and you see that video I pull up and I shoot and I hit the bottle and blow it up. Yeah. You know how many times it took me to hit that fucking bottle. Oh, man. 128 yards, I think it was. Went through like a whole bag of bullets. Jeez. Box, Jim Bob. They come in a box. Yeah, but we put them in bags when we go out there. Jesus. Well, either way, um, I, I don't know what the hell was going on that day. The, the gun needed side, sighted in a little bit. It was a little off is what yeah. it was. And not to make things any better, but that stupid-ass table I made. I'm like, I need something to oh, shoot yeah. off because the tailgate wasn't exactly wide enough to really get comfortable and shoot off. So I took a piece of wood. Yeah. It was uh, actually a piece of leftover wood from the wall here and uh, put a, a, a two-by-six on it with yeah. a hinge. Oh, so, yeah. You, you can see the idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But um, that fucker was wobbly as all hell. Hey, it, it didn't work too well. At least you tried. You know what I mean? And when I was taking it out, I remember opening the leg up and I pinched the shit out of my finger. Took the skin right off. And I was <laughs> Damn. Was. See, you guys are getting the exclusive. You never knew that, did you? I usually get injured. He got injured this yeah, time. Yeah, it was one of the rare accounts that I actually got injured instead of Jim Bob. Now, if you guys have seen the past shit of uh, these scopes on these guns he has, I don't know what the fuck, where, where are they? I don't know what kind of rocket scientist you have to be to see through the damn he things. He blames China. So I blame his lazy eye. Yeah, so uh, I don't know what it is, but it might be that. But uh, point is, I don't shoot them guns. That's why I wasn't shooting. That's just one of the, you know, I just, I'm there for support. Well, yeah. you did take one shot. You just missed horribly. I think I hit bullseye. That's why, no, that's why I wasn't even on camera, because you messed up. No, I bet you that didn't happen. Yeah, so. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. All right, so, yeah, so <clears> those <throat> are our fun videos. We try to do gun reviews. We try to do a whole bunch of different shit. Oh, the uh, the piano in that video. Oh, yeah. That's the emergence of the piano, isn't it? Is well, yeah. Uh, I met, met, no, I don't Maybe. think so. Uh, I don't know. Well, something. But there's a piano yeah. that's running around with us. Um, it'll be in the videos. It already got spray painted. It's yeah. got shot up it's a got bunch of times. Chunky chocolate milk on it. Yep. Spoiled. And now that piano we actually found laying up there one day. Yep. Somebody put it up there and said, Whiskey Drinkers, please uh, turn this into movie magic. They didn't say that. But it was left there, so we shot it. Well, they said that to me, and I said, yes, I will turn this well, into we don't even have it left it there. Well, I'm saying in, in my heart. Oh, in your heart. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so Telepathically, it's spiritual it. shit, you know. I'm a spiritual you guy. What's funny is I just realized I put that door upside down. Wow. Huh. Well, see, all the behind the scenes just put up a wall here. Yeah, but you can't see because it's behind the scenes, literally like behind the camera. That's and I put a door on and I put the damn door upside down. Most of it's the story is uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr., uh, you know, uh, member Billy. Yeah. Uh, it's Pete Rose baseball cards and stuff. But others, anyways. Um, That's why you don't do carpentry when you're drunk. If you guys are, want to see any different episodes or something on this or see us do something on this show right here, let us know because yeah. we're trying to make them better right now. We're, we're open bullshit. To survive, or, uh, it's not survival. We're open options. Yes, it's we are. This is what I think I was looking for. So any more last uh, last things on the hunting rifle episode? There wasn't really too much. Not that I can think of. Pretty um, we smooth. Did, we used the safety glasses. Yeah, good um, protection. In retrospect, I found out that when I put earmuffs on, I don't have to talk louder. You got some hearing protection right here. Oh, yeah. Because uh, I vowed to never, ever shoot a gun anymore without hearing protection. Yeah, I had to put my like that too. That's right. So these go on like this right here. And you got your glasses on right here like this. And I think you're ready to go. We are. All right. There's a review on those you can check out, so check them out. That's right. Let's get the shooting. Shoot this shit. Yeah, he was talking a little loud. You learn things, though. Well, right? you can't hear as much whenever you have safety glasses on. Safety glasses? Goggles. All right. Well, uh, our, our next video, next video. was uh, New Belgium uh, Watermelon uh, and Lime Beer Ale, I think it was, uh, beer review. Yeah, I must not have liked it. We hated it. Oh, we um, both hated it. We, uh, you gave it a two, and I gave it a one. Yeah, and said it tastes like shit. I can't even remember it, really. You know what, guys? I'm not a big fan of this one. I can't lie. I'm going to give it two. I'm going to give it one. I'm going to give it two, and here's my reason. Um, it does not taste like what it says. Um, I do like the aroma of it. Uh, I like the light beer aroma. Yeah. Like I said, if it made a, a one of my... Uh, Review air freshness for your car. I'd, yeah. I'd put one in my car. I like the way it smells. Um, and like you said about riding a tractor, I could I could drink a oh, couple yeah. a couple of these while I'm driving the tractor. On the way to sort of get another six pack. Yeah, a rubber. Um, it's just a lot. Like I don't know, it's kind of like drinking water. It is. It is. 
Well, I'm, I gave it a one, the lowest I've ever given anything. Um, I got to give it a one because this right here is disgusting. I got that one. Oh yeah, you did. I got that. Now I got to get that big motherfucker. This one here is disgusting. I would, I'd be happy if I never ever had this again or even seen this bottle again. It's disgusting. You think you're gonna bite into a uh, watermelon with some lime sprinkled on it? Uh, actually, you're just drinking a Miller's Light that tastes like asshole. So I'm, you know, fuck that. Yeah, that tasted like absolute shit. Okay, well, that's probably why it wasn't uh, very noteworthy in my mind, because it, it sucked. See, now, our taste might be different than your taste. You might have your taste buds messed up a little bit. But yeah, they might not be as superior as ours. Exactly. We're pretty good with our taste buds, but um, we're just saying, uh, you know, that's our opinion. And we're not just going to say, hey, every beer's good. If something tastes like shit, we're, we're going to fucking down. break it down. Yeah, it tastes like shit. Don't that's why it. we have a rating scale. We're exactly. like Cisco and uh, Sneebert or whatever. Cisco and Ebert. Cisco and Ebert. Without the tiger. We need to get a tiger. Without the... Oh, didn't the tiger eat his head or something? Oh, yeah. No, that was... Either way, we need a tiger. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. All so, right. So that's enough the way I... It'd be cool if we had a tiger. Fuck the uh, watermelon beer. Really. Yeah, that was, that was shitty. But uh, we had to let you guys know don't waste your money. All right, so next we have cutting down a tree. Now, that was a weird one. That, was, was that actually wasn't even meant to be a video. That was uh, me doing some actual work around the house and Jim Bob going, Oh, I gotta get, I gotta get the video camera. Man, I had my Pierre hat on to the side like a painter. And I was, you know, had tight pants on that yeah. day. Cowboy boots. I remember, around. Um, that was a big-ass tree. And I was a little uncomfortable cutting it. Yeah. I had had a few to drink, and the tree was kind of close to the garage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I was a little nervous about that. But, it uh, was a little nerve wracking. We employed the help of some friends, and uh, we winched the tree off of another tree. Yep. And I remember the, the damn chainsaw wouldn't stay running. And it was like, I'd start it, it would run, and it was... And yeah. It fucking every time I squeezed the trigger to give it more gas, it would stall out. So I could only run like half throttle on it. Yeah. Son of a Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember smacking it off the tree a couple times. Yep, you'll see that. it on the ground. Yep. And, uh, that was funny. Yeah, that was a pain in the ass. Uh, we were, thanks for them two uh, cool dudes for helping us out, because if that not, not we might have died. That was a life or death situation good right there. Good chance. And notice you don't see Jim Bob in the video helping at all. No, because I'm filming with eight different cameras. Yeah, he, I, I wasn't even paying attention to him. I didn't even know I had fucking eight different angles. I said, hey, there, a tree's about to pop, and it's a lot of force and power and stuff. I want to capture that as many times as I can. And yeah, and if it would have worked out, it would have been a good video. If it would have been bad, then we would have had evidence that the insurance wasn't paid for my life insurance because they Very true. would have saw I was doing an unsafe act. That's true. But then yeah. that footage might have disappeared. That's not a good idea. That would be the best option. Yep. Now, I'm trying to also remember, uh, I remember once we got the tree down, Yeah. I was using the side-by-side -side to pull the trunk and shit, yeah, 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 the trunk and all that shit down into the woods to get rid of it. Then the, the little side-by-side -side did a hell of a job. It pulled oh, it that bitch. Oh, man. That side-by-side. Yeah. Side. So between that and the tractor, we got it all cleaned up. I think we cleaned it up that day, didn't we? Yeah. The whole yeah. damn thing. Oh, man. Just scooting around on that side-by-side. Just -side, like fucking amazing. Two geniuses. Yeah. Pretty cool. Actually, we drug the uh, the limbs up to the shooting, up to the big shooting range. Yeah. Because we were going to use that for a bonfire for another video that uh, ended up getting canceled and we didn't shoot. Yep. I mean, you guys want you guys got some land. You got a little yard work to do and shit. Get yourself a Razor 800. That's those, right. Those things are it fucking amazing. It was quite impressive. And uh, the video we were going to shoot was with the Chronic Zombies. Oh, yeah. And um, the actual bonfire part of it was supposed to be the original ending yep. to the um, Halloween. Of the Halloween episode. Yep. But we didn't get to shoot it because of circumstances. and Yeah. So that's why we have the ending that we have for the Halloween episode. Which is cool. But it's quite but unfortunate. The original one was is dead. gonna be so fucking amazing. Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't Louise even think died. about that. That was the oh, end. Oh man, I probably shouldn't have said that. Put, put, wait, put but that's in interesting. Fuck though. Like people don't know that there was a whole other ending. Yeah, oh, set yeah. up for that. And our poor little baby rat died because we decided. Cause Damn. 
Physical. You know, fuck them crawler zombies. It's because of them Luis is dead. Man, you guys. You think about it. Yeah, I know. So uh, fuck Dave and Dank. Wow. Sons of bitches. That's rude. All right, let's go on to the next one. He's just kidding. He's just a little mad because our little baby rat died. I'm not mad, Jim. Bob. I'm hurt. I know. It's okay. The hurt will okay. well, let's eventually get sink in like lotion. Get on with it. We need to forget about that. All right. Uh, Men don't think about shit. They forget about it. The mystery Oreo taste test. Mr. Oreo. This is a bunch of bullshit. Big was. scam to get a bunch of people to buy Oreos. It was. However, the big scam to get a bunch of people to buy Oreos did make me go out and buy a bag of Fruity Pebbles. Exactly. So, uh, so I ate Fruity Pebbles for like a fucking week. Thank you. And we did a little bit of the internet research right there, and we found the ties to both of them companies, so we think it's a big yeah. campaign to try to get yeah. people to buy both of those things. And it, it worked for me. Yep. I bet you his sales in Fruity Pebbles has gone yeah. up. Now, I said lemon meringue pie, so we're going to see when uh, Oreo, or whatever you call yourselves, when you guys put out if your video. Is your name. And I want to get my 50,000 smackerunos and, uh, you know, get it payday. Payday, mm -hmm. motherfucker. All right, so that's that. Yeah, that covers that one pretty quick. House of Jerky, Whiskey, Rabbit, Jerky Review. Okay, well, that boils into my trip to Tennessee. Yeah. Because that's where that came from. That was actually smuggled across the border, several borders, actually, back to Pennsylvania here. Yep. Pennsylvania, however you want to think about it. And uh, I brought that back with me. Now, when I went to the store, it was an interesting place. It was kind of like fucking... Uh, uh, Deliverance? No. Uh, uh, um, like... Uh, like Caddyshack? No. Uh, uh, Harry Potter. It was like oh, Harry wow. Potter. Like you're walking down the street and there's like it's another thing here and it's like a little cool with stores and shops. And you walk down the street and there's like another alley and there's like a little shops back here. It's kind of weird. It was neat. It's and weird. This place actually had a sign out front. And you walk back the alleyway, there was a set of stairs and with the sign pointing up, you had to go upstairs and up around the corner there and there was the damn shop up on top. Yeah. Interesting as hell. Now, when you walk into the place, first of all, you can smell jerky. Yes. It is, in fact, a jerky store place type. Yeah. And uh, you walk in, and the guy goes, can I help y'all with anything? And he was like, this dude was straight out of a fucking was a southern cartoon. Yeah. He was like the typical bibs and overall fucking jug of moonshine, talking with this slang that you can't even barely understand. Well, that, that's but that, he the, was nice as hell. The talk on the internet has been, hey, I, Clint, I think Clint's making that guy up and stuff. Not at all. That so, guy was genuine. We're hushing down all them forums. Guys, settle down. Uh, that was a real true story. He met that guy for real. That guy was, uh, he was something else. Like I said, he was like something out of a cartoon. I mean, yeah. He was like, like, yo, Sam and he Sam mixed yeah, with somebody kinda, else. Okay. And like, I hate to use. I can impersonate him using my own voice because I don't really know how to impersonate him. Yeah, you don't want to be mean about but it. But he was like, uh, now I know y'all ain't had none of this here before, but you might want to try a little bit, all right? You know, this here's a goddamn, uh, well, he didn't swear. And, he, he didn't swear a little. <laughs> he's like, uh, this uh, Buffalo style case, you know, man. See, and this guy, you can't barely understand. That's who you're going to buy turkey off. Yeah, and that guy made me feel like he had some real shit. Now, I wonder if he had... Or if uh, maybe he's a little bit crazy. He's making uh, human beings into uh, yeah, maybe. beef jerky. Maybe he is. Maybe he ain't. Maybe he... Uh, um, now, one thing I can say is that uh, there was quite a plethora of selection there. Yeah. And I mean, there we was all like kinds anything. Of shit. And like, yeah, as snake. you saw in the videos, there was some weird shit we tried. Yeah. But could you get like snake? Oh, there was all kinds. Of, yeah, there was, I think there was python jerky. Wow. Could, could you get Montana oysters? Do you know what those things yeah, are? I don't think it was any of these. Those are bull balls. And uh, no, it was any of this. They had um, real jerky stuff, but uh, shit was expensive. I will say that it was quite expensive, but it was worth it because it yeah. was it's some. I mean, it's jerky. Hey, you're you're fucking touristing somewhere. You know, you never know what you're gonna run into. So right. you might as well try it. Wasn't bad. That's right. Wasn't bad at all. All right. What else we got? All right. So uh, the next one that we have is the sour mash. Um, what is this? The Sugar Lands? The Sugar Lands uh, Sour Tennessee Mash. Sour Mash. Yep. That's um, Moonshine right. Reviewer. Is it Moonshine? Um, yeah, it's like a fake Moonshine because in, I'm not going to say that that was bought in Tennessee and brought back through several state lines. Because it was Because that would be illegal and we would never do such a thing like that because yeah. that would be immoral as well. But what he did was yeah. he visited the I place so. when he was there and then he bought it when he came back. Yeah, I researched it. Exactly. So, and, um... That stuff was interesting. Yeah. Never had anything like it. That, that was. Somewhere. Right here it is. Yeah. That's right here. It was uh, some interesting shit there. It's, 
Now I say it's not real moonshine because it's only like fifty oh, percent. Real you. moonshine would be like hundred and ninety. It's gotta to reach a certain point to yeah. even be what considered. There's a chance that that would not make a Molotov cocktail. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I do know what you mean. But uh that stuff is very interesting. It's got uh like if you take a shot of it, yeah. You know this, you drink it. Yeah, I did. If yeah. you take a shot of it, you don't it's it's not nothing. It's just like alcohol, you know? Yeah. But then all of a sudden you get this fucking sour. Yeah. It's like a it's interesting. It's like a sour patch kid without the flavor. It's just the sour shit of it. Yeah. It's hard to real hard to explain. It is hard to explain, but it's one of those things that you're kinda like, uh, what the fuck is that at first? But then you kind of like find yourself Even going, smelling it. man, I want to like try that again. That's an interesting taste. Now, see here, anybody that's new to moonshine, let me explain it for you. Let me break it down. You got moonshine. It basically tastes like uh, either, you know, it's got a rice kind of thing. It just tastes like rubbing alcohol, okay? That's not what you're looking for. You're looking for those aftertastes and stuff. So, uh, you know, kind of what comes after it. Um, some of them just taste like uh, gasoline the whole fucking time you drink it. Some of them like this kind of chill out. And you get a, uh, you know, you kind of get some flavors in there. If you take a little sip of what you got left there. Yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll see. The little... initial flavors are like real sour. Yeah, I do taste that. So you do definitely taste the sour mash like the, and my tongue just went numb. From that little sip? Yeah. Like when I did the shot, it didn't do it, but that little sip made my tongue go numb. That's right interesting. Middle. Well, maybe that's why it's for sipping more than it is for shooting. Maybe. If you smell it and it's like small doses, you can almost smell that sour flavor. Oh, yeah, I'm a little sick and I can still smell it. Yeah, and you can't really tell that flavor until you've actually tried it, if that makes any sense. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, there's once a, you've tried it, you can smell the flavor. There's sour beers out there, there's sour whiskeys and stuff. I've heard of all that. Very interesting. Very interesting. You know, I never buy sour stuff, so to actually try some sour stuff is interesting. It is a taste that, uh, you, you know, it's kind of weird. It's what very different. You find yourself chasing it. Yeah, it's not to be confused with chasing a dragon because that's a whole different. Thing. That's a whole different story. But um, yeah, yeah, that's something I'd recommend. You so can, if if you can get a small bottle of it, now I know you've got you might this. I want to get a big one. I know. Oh, you, real quick, I'm sorry. I hate oh, because no, I'm on a fucking roll right here, so you better shut up. Now, if you take a tiny sip of it, yeah, yeah I remember this distinctly. If you take a very tiny sip, it's like hitting you right in the fucking throat with sour. And it's like, holy shit, like I didn't taste that whenever, and that's just a small sip. No, you yeah. don't taste that when you take the shot. But instantly your fucking tongue goes numb. Yeah, Remember that? That is true. That was really weird too. Okay, you can talk about that. Well, I'm going to add on top of that. Um, so uh, I had a layer of cake here. So uh, Ooh, that, that's, cake. that's something I've noticed through like tasting beers and whiskeys and stuff. There's, it's one thing to take a whole shot, but then just take a little tiny bit. Take a little sip of room? Yeah, not even a sip, just a little tiny bit at the end of the glass. You get so much more yeah, out yeah. of that taste wise. And you gotta do the. <gasps> you yeah. get the, the back burn flavor. <laughs> yeah. The flavor that like sits in your throat, or like coach your esophagus. Exactly. <gasps> you can just taste so many weird flavors. It's interesting. It's very true. Try, try and that me. snorting he does, and what we both do, he does, he's yeah, pretty he's pro, pro at it. Yeah, it takes some practice. Yeah, we're getting good at that. So, uh, so yeah, there we have that. Uh, oh yeah. Now I know that you bought this stuff around here, but when you did visit that distillery, mm -hmm. hey. well, how was that like? Um, what? well, I visited it with the lady friend, and uh, rule number one when you're going to Tennessee, don't take your lady friend. Uh, whoa, because uh, she's not going to appreciate the finer things that you appreciate. Yeah. Like, I appreciated all the different little moonshine distilleries and shit down there. Yeah. You're yeah, like, look at the architecture and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, she didn't appreciate the genuine mash smell. Oh. No. Really encompasses every distillery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're like in the midst of these fucking. Your balls deep. 10 dude. feet around circles and 10 feet deep mash. Fucking mixes. It was like going to a ketchup factory and thinking it's not going to smell like ketchup. Exactly. You know what I mean? It was a beautiful thing. I, a few times I, I crowded them. Did you? Oh, it was beautiful, Jim Bob. You Man. Just have no idea. When you see them big ass fucking shiny silver vats of just, just full whiskey right there. Wow. Right there. You can just kill yourself with what I I'm salivating right now just thinking about it. That was That's really cool. So, uh, it was, it was, yeah, beautiful. You visited a couple other ones. Yeah, but, yeah. I mean, well, should we get into that? Yeah, well, we can say the names real quick because they're going to be coming up. And these are the oh, yeah. ones. So, they're yeah. going to be oh, yeah. a sneak view. Uh, went to the uh, Old Smoky Mountain distillery. Oh, yeah. We know Smoky Mountain and, from uh, uh, the Outsiders. They did the 
and uh, uh, what's the other place? Uh, Sugarlands went there. Sugarlands and um, he didn't go to Dolly World. I don't know why. Oh, uh, oh, right there. Uh, Old Forge Distillery. Bam. Right there, got this little. Oh, fucking oh yeah, you guys are gonna see. A little see fucking this. six pack right here. A little sample six. Little six packer. This little son bitch right here. This here's. I'm real excited. We're gonna try every one of these. Oh yeah. And we got the small bottles just in case they taste like shit. This is a uh, coffee. Really excited wow. to try that. Me too. So we got some coffee, and uh, it's interesting. You go in here if you want one of these little motherfuckers here. You go in, you get this little six pack multi thingy here. Uh, See, so it's a uh, mini six pack sampler moonshine choices. Oh and wow! You just go ahead and fill it out. Yeah, you check the six that you want, and they fill it up, and give it to you, and fucking away you go. That's cool as hell. Can't ask for anything better. What's so, that place called? Uh, Old Forge. Forge. This is at Pigeon Forge. Well, shout out to Old Forge. If you go to Tennessee, you can get one of these, but you can't bring them back across state lines. Exactly. That's illegal. You have to find them around your own area. Yeah. And, uh, so don't bring those back across state lines. Exactly. Find those in your own area. All, All right. right. So, and yeah, I got some uh, mead from a place I stopped at in West Virginia on the way back. Oh, that's here. cool. That uh, I drank there and then drove the rest of the way home because you can't travel across state lines with alcohol. Exactly. Very important. It's though. illegal. Okay so, uh, so, okay, so next up, Clint, explain your new show that people have seen. Um, uh, explaining lyrics or what, what's it called? Oh, uh, lyrics explained by Clint. Yeah, there you it's go. Very simple. I was driving home one day from somewhere, don't know where. It's probably drunk, and um, a song was on the radio, and I'm singing along to it, and it, it dawns on me. I'm singing these words, and I have no idea what the hell they're talking about. Yeah. So I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna help my viewers, our fans, understand some lyrics." So. Uh, I go, bunch of my prayer. Well, I didn't print them up. I think Mike might have printed them up. Mike sticks around once in a while. What's that thing Mike was going to do? Oh, what the hell did he do? Uh, he already did it. But he printed up a big stack of these. I haven't seen them since, actually. Like, um, so, uh, oh, um, commentai or something. It's the ritualistic self inflicted suicide that samurais do. Now, we all know Mike's not a samurai. Yeah. But Mike. As we all know, likes to drink and dabble with the drugs a little bit. Well, they, we don't want to say that. It sure as hell looked like it. We made a video called Don't Do Drugs. It was featuring Mike. But it's very true. Don't do drugs. <laughs> don't do drugs, kids. Yeah. It's very true. So, um, we're pretty sure Mike killed himself. Yeah, um, with, the, with the uh old, old fashioned samurai, <laughs> um, you know. <laughs> Which Nick, is Nick. fucking sad, but it's honorable. Yeah, it's honorable. So we can respect that. We can respect that. So, uh, but yeah, he uh, printed but a bunch Mike of printed those up for us. Yeah, and we go through, we just pick them out at random. And yeah, yeah and not there. for me. I'm not, I was just on the show. Well, he was on one we did earlier. It's a special feature. And let me tell you guys, holy shit, not only is it hard to do that. Because there's a lot of thinking to put these ties together. He's like a fucking detective over here. I'm kind of a genius. He turns out to be this damn gothic, uh, sadomasochistic, devil-worshipping, fucking android-loving orgy. And now he's a prisoner there. Somebody needs to call the damn Better Business Bureau and have this place looked into and shut down. Because this is fucking bullshit. That ain't right. Jesus would not. He is. Um, and... Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a pretty fucking cool idea. It's interesting. It's just what you'll find in these fucking songs is and insane. We learn together. We so, do. Okay, so what else we got? All right, so uh, that's your Explain It All show. <clears throat> There's going to be a lot more of those coming out, right? Yeah, sure. Yes, sure. So, so there is. don't you guys worry. Every Saturday. Oh, well, maybe if somebody has a uh, request. Yeah, maybe. Put it, yeah, put it down there. We'll get to it. Put it down there. So, uh, will it stop a bullet? Mm. Breaks the two two three. This is the last video of this That's month. Right. Round one. Um, yeah, and that is as Darren would say. Will it stop a bowling? No. Why? Wow, it's, it's people have raved about that show. Yeah. Darren loves the theme song. Every time Doesn't, I see him, he say he doesn't. It, uh, his will it stop. Well, that's beautiful. And Darren's weird. We know that. But we like him. We, we like him because uh, of that. <clears throat> yeah, so, uh, so, real quick thing. If you guys watch this episode, you guys are going back or whatever. And I, I might even link 
all the episodes. That'd be a good idea. It'd be a good idea so yeah. you guys can watch that shit. Um, if you can't remember. So, and just a little note. You, you can see the green in the Whiskey Drinker logo thing. Uh, well, you can't see it. Well, yeah. Because it, it, it's gone. It catches up on the green screen thing yeah, in the back. Yeah, it just disappears. So, so just, just a little note. It looks like there's a hole in me. There's don't no, worry. Jim Bob is okay. He does not have his innards missing. Exactly. They're, but, they're all still intact, we hope. But it looks kind of weird, you know. Yeah, that, they're probably pickled now, come to think of it. And there's times where Clint's Mountain Dew bottle has oh, turned yeah, into... Oh, yeah, I'm just drinking air. Into, yep, like yeah. the Predator. He borrowed yeah. some air off the Predator. That's what I do. So, uh, Will stop the bullet. Two, two, oh, three, yeah. shooting the brake pads. Um, oh, yeah, those damn brake pads. Those damn elusive brake pads. They are elusive. Um, now, at, when you're out there and those brake pads are 200 yards away, you can't see it. But... Whenever it's filmed and we do the editing, you can see that I keep shooting and I'm like, well, are we hitting a damn yeah. thing? I shot it, I think, four times. And every time you can see a new hole pops up on the box. So I wasn't, yeah. in fact, hitting it because I am a marksman. Yeah, but uh, he actually wasn't hitting it, if you get what I'm saying. But, but whenever you shoot like 250 yards away, brake pads look like a penny. And yeah. to be honest, you might not even hit the top ones. You might have just hit one inside. But regardless, you on put... the last one? No, oh, no, I definitely hit what I needed to hit. Well, you put a hole fucking through it, so... Yeah. Uh, and as you could see on that video, uh, well, you probably couldn't see, but first I found this one in the box, or outside of the box that flew around. Um, it's got a cut in it, but it didn't go through it. Yeah, it just grazed that one. Yep. It's a flesh wound. And I was like, damn, they just stopped a damn bullet. But then, but then. Yeah. Then we saw this one. Saw this one right there, you can see. Just Maybe right through it. Just a little tiny hole right there, right through it. Damn. I am surprised, because like I said, that is some solid steel there. But I wonder if it hit this part. If it hit this part with the double backup brace, man, you don't want to hit that double backup brace if you're trying to go through things. Yeah, but still, it it did go through. It did. So Not the, on that one, but that one. Here. These are out. Oh, uh, we have a bunch of those coming up. This is just the first episode of five. Yeah. Um, those which which by up. the time you see this, one or two of them will probably already be out. Yeah, and we'll be doing the November um, wrap up show. I thought this was November. I mean, uh, sorry, the December wrap up yeah. show. Um, so, yeah, that's, don't worry about October. We discussing that. We're not sure what the route we're going to take is because we did a lot of work in October. Yeah, so we're not sure what's going to happen I with mean, October's wrap up. I think in time maybe it'd be something to go back to and do a wrap up yeah. show of that. But what you know, who knows? Who knows? Yeah. So uh, we'll see if you guys even like this one. Hell, if yeah. you don't like them, yeah, fuck it. yeah. And, um, if you guys want to see anything, oh shit, hold on here. This is my oh, Jim Bob started working out. That this thing is called a shake weight. Yeah, that's pretty new to the market. And you just shake it. It's, it's, it's why does that look gauge, you know? Well, it's like you're jerking it's off like a fucking that, right? handle, like a giant. Well, I'm not. Wow. Oh, exercise. <laughs> is that gym? if I had Stone Cold standing behind you? She was like you're about to get a cream filled shower. Jeez, man, this well, dude it looks like you're jerking off. I paid uh, two ninety nine for this. Get the fuck out of here. I don't have any weights anymore. Uh, you wait till post production whenever I, I put a damn dildo in your hand. I can't have weights. Uh, well, this this right here is for uh, jerk it off, building up your jerk off. Muscle. No, that, that right there is for you, Bill. There you can make some you meat out jerk of off, Bill, or what? No. Oh, stop it with what all the that. What's going on here? Jeez. Why you gotta be so gay? I'm trying to. Wow. Anyway, I'm trying to make a joke with my damn uh, weight thing. And no, get some real weights. All right, so what else we got? Anything? Uh, All right, well, I just, you know, if you guys got any ideas of things that we can do for this Patreon thing, because this is going to be something that's up for probably, you might be seeing this next year or something. Yeah. Here's so, a sneak preview. Uh, Great oh, yeah. American Blueberry Flavored Malt Beverage Specialty. 28 proof, 14% alcohol. There's a little sneak preview. Going to be doing, doing that soon. A bunch more shit coming up. Walked into a place, walked into Sanchez, one of our favorite places, and I was like, huh. Oh, yeah. What the hell is this right here? And I looked at it, and I'm like, hey, is this any good? It's yeah. blue. It's All blue. Right. It's blueberry. And the guy says to me, uh, he says, yeah, it's pretty good. It sells pretty good. He said, uh, there's like eight bottles on the display. He said, it's yeah. a 50 bottle display case. And he said, two days ago, it was full. Oh, I believe it. And it's five bucks a bottle. So why the fuck wouldn't you try? Oh, five bucks a bottle. Damn, so let's we'll try that sometime too. That'll be coming up. Hell yeah. Um, we're gonna be we're gonna be doing other stuff. What kind uh, of shit? Fuck. We always do. Or something I was gonna say. Oh yeah. As of now, every Sunday we're gonna uh, put up all all the new videos for that week will be available to our Patreon people. 
Yeah, and so the Patreon people will get the videos a week in advance than going on YouTube. Well, not a full week, but that week. Roughly a week. Roughly a week. Yeah. You know, um, and we'll figure that out. But the cool thing about this whole Patreon thing is we can keep, we can change things, we can make things better. Yeah. And turn this into a cool ass thing. So being at just the beginning of it, we really need your help to help exactly. us make it better. And that's what we want to do too. I mean, we don't want to be like jerking off chimpanzees or nothing. Uh, we nothing weird. Well, you could. You got the shit weight. I, mean, I pretty much am. Uh, but, what, <laughs> but what we want to do is we want to try to make this show kind of like what you guys want and blah, blah, blah. You know and we I mean? want to make, make it more personal. We exactly. Want, yeah, we want you to get a, another look at the lives of the whiskey drinkers, the shit you don't see in the normal videos. Exactly. The behind the scenes shit. And, and this will be for, you know, this will be for the shit. You know, this will be our inside joke to all the other motherfuckers Man. out there. You know, the cool motherfuckers. I'm not shitting on anybody. But the, you guys are the special motherfuckers. Right? Exactly, especially. And we'll think up names and stuff. Yeah. Maybe make patches or something. Who fucking knows? Patches. Nice. You know what Joe's good with patches? What's that? Pet tiger. We should get one. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Did you ever see what happens when people, tigers kill people? Well, that's why you gotta train it. You gotta love it. You can't train it. Mike Tyson has tigers, and he's the only man that can have tigers. Well, Luis could have killed him. He's a gentle soul. She didn't. Because Luis was a beautiful angel. Well, exactly. Just like. We could have a beautiful angel angel tiger. Yeah, I don't know about this. We'll get a white one. No, I think Luis is perfect. Huh, Luis? Louie likes it. So, um, all right. So, I think that's the end of the show. I yeah, think that's yeah. it. Uh, we'll be back next month. I don't know when these are coming out, but, uh, you know. Somehow. And when we get Patreons or whatever the hell they're called, we'll start putting you at the end of videos. And we'll do cool things and give you shout outs. Sounds good. See, well, you. Uh, see you next time.